Welcome to February's LECO Challenge. Today's problem is minimum remove to make valid parentheses. Given a string of open, close parentheses and lowercase English letters, your task is to remove the minimum number of parentheses in any position so that the resulting parentheses string is valid. Now, what is a valid parentheses string? If it's empty, if it can be written as A, B, whatever, any, any characters, or it can be written as open, character, character, close parentheses. Yeah, so you get the point. If we had a string like this, we can see that we need to remove one of these closed parentheses, probably the one here at the end, to get this valid output here. Okay, so how can we solve this? Well, this question ended up being a lot more difficult for me than it needed to because of these hints. They tell you to essentially go through the string forwards and backwards, keeping track of the open parentheses and closed parentheses. Now, if we have a uh, greater number of open parentheses and closed parentheses, then we can add it. But I wouldn't go with this solution because uh, it gets very tricky with removing all the parentheses and, and it ends up getting, becoming very, very dirty. So I wouldn't go with that. Rather, remember the very like what this solution is, or what this problem is very related to, which is the valid parentheses problem. Like if we had some sort of parentheses, uh, if we wanted to see if this was valid, this approach would be to use a stack, right? What we would do, because we have three scenarios, either it's going to be a, uh, an open or a close, or it's going to be some sort of string, right? Uh, if we had a stack, what we can do is make sure that when it's an open, we'll add it to our stack, and we'll pop it off when we see that uh, there's a close parentheses. Now, if we find a situation where the stack is empty and we have a close parentheses, that means this close parentheses, we can't add it. Or in fact, this isn't a valid parentheses, so we would need to remove that somehow. And as for the strings, strings or characters, we don't care about those. We always add them, no matter what. So let's try to incorporate that solution by keeping track of the index numbers that are going to be need. We need to drop like whatever remains on the stack. That's going to be the index numbers of the parentheses that we need to remove. Um, and really. All we're going to remove is the open parentheses. We'll remove the closed parentheses while we move through our algorithm. So what we'll do is get the create a stack, which is going to keep track of the open parentheses. We'll get the length of S to be N, and we'll also convert the string into a list. Now for I in range of N, there's three scenarios, right? There's either, um, well, I don't need to do that. If s of i is equal to open parentheses, then we are going to add this index number. I'm sorry, we're not going to add this index. Yeah, we're going to add this index number onto the stack. So we'll add this index number, not the parentheses, because that's useless. We need to keep track of the index number. Now, otherwise, if it's a closed parentheses, we need to check for two things. If there's a stack, then we know that we can just pop off this index number. So what we'll do is say pop off that open parentheses. Otherwise, if there's not a stack, that means this close parentheses is invalid. There's no way to close that. So we'll just have to pop it off immediately from our string. So we can't, well, we could pop it off, but that's not very efficient. Well, instead, what we'll do is just re initialize that character to a blank string. Now, otherwise, if it's a character, then we will just, well, do we even need to do anything? I don't think we even need to do anything here. We'll just uh, um, continue. So now we'll have this stack and this should contain like all the index numbers of, of the open parentheses that we need to pop off and we're not going to pop it off. We're just going to make them an empty string. So for, uh, let's call it J in stack. These are all index numbers. We will go through our string and say S of I make that equal to, I'm sorry, S of J make it equal to an empty string. So now at this very end, this will be a list of all the characters with everything that can't be there popped off. So all we need to do then is to return a string join of our S. So let's make sure this works. That looks like it's working, so let's submit that. 
and accepted it. So this is O of n, and space complexity also O of n because of the stack, uh, but it is one pass. And I really like this solution. Going two passes and, and doing this can, gets very, very tricky. And um, there's lots of edge cases that you need to account for. I don't recommend it. So don't go with this, go with the stack, because anyway, it's more related to huh, the valid parentheses problem. So yeah, hope that helps. Thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.